Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. And welcome back to Shenanigans. I just woke up. This is going to be a weekend, Saturday, Easter, what I eat in a day vlog. All right, guys. It's Saturday morning, and let me tell you, it is hard to get your workout done when you smell bacon frying. But I did it. Now I'm gonna go eat bacon. This is my normal breakfast, except for today I'm having bacon for three points, bagel thin for three points. I will eat my fried egg on top of my bagel thin, and that would make a six point breakfast. <laughs> That's what we do in a day. So good to be outside. Miracle noodles. Zero points, zero calories. Added some mushrooms to it. Gonna add some um, zucchini as well. This is um, zero added sugar, so I'm counting it as zero points. This, the marinara sauce would actually be two points. I don't know why it comes up as two points, but it has no added sugar. And generally, if marinara sauce doesn't have added sugar, then I will just count it as zero points. So this is actually going to be a zero point lunch. I put zucchini, mushrooms, and then these cognac, cognac, cognac noodles. Um, so, and it's going to be super delicious. I also add some crushed red pepper and some garlic. And this is always a really filling, very, very low calorie um, meal. Yum, yum, yum. I did add just a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese on the top. This is what's for supper. Ribs. These come out to be about uh, seven points for four ounces, which I think is about two or three of these ribs. And that and corn on the cob and chicken burgers. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> so, this is the end of Saturday. I went way over my points. Like, I get 23 for a day. And I had 49. Um, I will blame my waiting too long between lunch and supper as the culprit because I was really hungry and we were like waiting on the last of the ribs off the grill. And so I had two of those chicken burgers and they're like hamburgers made out of chicken. And they are only three points a piece. But then I had buns that went with them and cheese on them. And so that added up really quickly. And then the ribs. And I always kind of like shoot over whenever I'm um, trying to track food. Because I don't want to accidentally miss something. So it may not have been like 49. But um, that's what I tracked. So it's okay though. I felt like I did great. We went on a bike ride. Um, I also did my workout this morning, so I just felt myself being hungrier all day long. Um, so anyway, this is Saturday, and I will probably show you some of tomorrow, even though tomorrow is Easter, and we're going to have ham and potato salad, and I am not overly excited about any of that, so we'll see. You guys know that I'm the worst when it comes to, like, actually putting together a decent what I eat in a day. But yet, you guys still watch because you're awesome. usual um this is probably a hot mess but there is something that I wanted to 
um, just kind of talk about for a second. Um, I have been thinking about um, when we first started on WW and how seriously it just took one choice, like that very first choice to say, we're going to do this. This is for real. And I've been thinking a lot lately about how it's just been one choice after another. Some of those have been bad choices. Some of those have been good choices. Some of those have been choices that are just, you know, whatever. Um, but I am discovering that those good choices are what is keeping me propelling forward. And I want to continue to make those good choices. Now, that's not to say that there aren't some bad ones that come in. Like, of course, I've made a thousand bad choices over the last two years. But um, it is all about one single choice, one small choice that we take, um, that we make, because that will determine the step that we take. So we take, we make a choice in the right direction. We're moving in the right direction. So if you continue to make those choices, that's how we get to where you've been on WW for two years and you've lost 80 pounds. And I just think about those things um, and how every day there's, you know, a thousand choices that you can make. And so I have tried to be, and I will continue to try to be more intentional about the choices that I'm making. So if I'm going to say, um, if I eat this certain thing, then I know that that's going to lead to me eating something else. I'm going to have to make a choice later of giving in to whatever it may be. Because normally when you eat something that is, especially something that has high in sugar, it makes your body want more sugar. So there you are, you're faced with another choice of I have to like, and it gets harder and harder to say no, the more bad choices that you're making. It, it's easier to make bad choices if you're making bad choices. So for me, if I wake up in the morning and I'm like, I know that if I work out today, I'm going to do better with the rest of my day. If I work out and then eat a good breakfast, I'm making the choice to work out. Do you work out? Do you not work out? I'm going to work out. Do you eat a good breakfast or do you scarf a donut or whatever? Um, and progressively, there's those choices. And so if I work out, if I eat a good breakfast, I know that I'm going to be active that day. But even those things, they come from that first choice of getting up. Of, am I going to get dressed? Am I going to stay in my pajamas? And so um, just try to make those small, good choices. Um, if you're faced with the choice of, do I give up right now because I've had a bad day? Like if, if I've had way too much for lunch, do I just, uh, you have the choice. Do I give up now and just let the whole day slide or do I do better at supper time? I know that that is probably kind of jumbled because I do not rehearse anything that I say here, but it's just something that's been on my mind. Something that I'm working really, really hard to be more intentional about. And maybe that'll help somebody just to make the right choice with those small choices and let them start with small choices. Because, um, if you've made the right choices up until the big choice, then it makes it easier to make the right choice. Okay. I'm um, sorry. I got interrupted. The, uh, my point, the whole point is just when you wake up in the morning, make that first choice to just get dressed. Like that's a big thing for me that will lead to a day of success if I allow it. Um, so hopefully that helps somebody. I'm just, there is like no getting these words out. My house is full of people. <sighs> anyway, it's Monday. You guys are going to see this tomorrow. We had an awesome, it was Easter weekend. We had an awesome service. Um, and it was good. It was, it was pretty good. So, um, I didn't do too bad on points for it being Easter weekend and there being lots of candy and all of that around. Um, that is a box spring in case you're wondering, cause we are moving some things out of my daughter's room. So I'm going to end this here. I know that it's a hot mess. I do not proclaim to be great at this. I just, I just want to help somebody if I can. Anyway, if you like this video, I know it's a stretch, but if you like this video, then like this video, let's make sure. Okay. I'm a hot mess. I was like, I better make sure there's nothing in my teeth before I continue. Um, it's just 2 a.m. If you like this video, like this video, comment, subscribe, share, all of those things. Join us over on Facebook, uh, Jen Hannigan's, <clears throat> and 
I'll see you next time. Because there's someone else. <laughs>